Hi guys, welcome back to Top Tips Graphics. It's me Ramis in front of you. So after a short period of time, I am back to you with another new topics. So today we are going to discuss about a new features in the Adobe Illustrator CC 2022. That is 3D and material tools. This is very interesting and the latest features in the latest version of the Adobe Illustrator. Even though we are using the 3D options in the Adobe Illustrator, these 3D and material tools are very easier to use and will give us a very realistic result on converting the flat designs into 3D objects. So I think better than to explain the features of these tools, let's do a sample that it will be more easier for you to understand the functions of the tools. So here I am going to show you how to create a 3D realistic coffee cup from a flat designs. So let's go through the system. First of all, let's open the Adobe Illustrator CC 2022. And here I am creating the new page with the size of 1000 PT in the RGB mode as shown here. Now here we get the square type artboard. After that, let's open the color files that which we are using for this project. Once you open the color files, just to copy these colors into our work area. Then let's save these colors into the swatches panel. For that, just to go for the windows and select the swatches. Here you will get this panel. Then by using the direct selection tool, just to select all the colors. And from this pa swatches panel, just click over this group. Here you will get this comment box. Here in this new color group, I am just giving the name as 3D Coffee and press OK. So here you can see all the colors in the swatches panel. After that, take the layers panel from the windows. Then create the new layers by clicking here. Then change the name of the layer 1 as BG for the background. Now let's create the background for this artboard. For that, just choose the rectangle tools and draw a rectangle over the artboard as shown here. Then here I am changing the color of the background as yellow from this swatches panel. After that, just lock the background layers by clicking here. Then change the layer to name as works. Now let us start to create the flat designs as a logo type. For that, just here I am selecting the pen tool. I am making the stroke color into white. And after that, change the stroke thickness into 25 point. Then let's draw a curve as seen here. Then go to the stroke options from the windows and change the curves into or the and the corner into a round model as shown here. Again take the pen tool and remove the straw. Then after that fill the fill color with this color. And draw a shape like this by moving this right corner towards outside as shown here. Now after selecting that brown portion just to right click the mouse button and select the arrange sent to backward. After that by using the selection tool just to select both the objects and group it. Now let us draw the handle portion of the coffee cup. For that again choose the pen tool and choose the stroke colors into white and stroke thickness into 35 point. Draw a straight line and move to bottom as a shape of number 7. Then by using the direct selection tool just to select the corner and change this corner into a curved corner as like this. Then by using the stroke panel just to mold the edges of the strokes. Now let's draw the saucer portion of the coffee cup. 
For that, select the pen tool and change the stroke color to white color and stroke thickness to 25 point. Then draw a curved horizontal stroke like this. Then let's draw a flat design of the coffee seeds. For that, remove the stroke color and add the fill color with the dark brown color. And by using the ellipse tool, just draw a small circle as shown here. Then copy the circle by overlapping with the first circle as like this. Then select the both circle together and open the pathfinder panel from the windows and intersect. This will give us overlapped app area separately. Just reduce the size. Then by using the pen tool, just to draw a straight line on the middle of the coffee seeds shape. And choose the light brown color for the stroke. And change the stroke thickness into 0.2. Expand the stroke from the object menu as like this. After that, copy the coffee shape and place it over the same position by using the code Ctrl C and then Ctrl F. Now just move the copied one to backward by using this arrange option. Select the middle line together with the copied portion and intersect from the pathfinder panel. Here we get the middle line separately. Then just group the coffee seeds all together. Here we completed the flat design of the coffee cup and set. Then let's move all the part away from the artboard and go to our main topic to convert the flat designs into a realistic 3D shapes. So first of all, let's copy this part into the middle of the artboard and open our main subject 3D and material tools from the windows menu as shown here. This is the 3D and material panel. Here we have a lot of option, but for this part, I am selecting the revolve option. So you will get this shape. Then drag the option to bottom, change the offset direction to right edge. So here you will get the shape of the coffee cup as like this. Then let's change the rotation of the cup. For that, you can use the preset option. Here I am selecting the isometric right. Then apply this option, render with ray tracing. This will result you a glossy and more realistic effect as like this. Then go to the lighting option and adjust the lighting as per our wish. That's all. Now let's convert the handle portion of the cup to 3D format. For that, select the handle and go to the object menu in 3D and material panels. And here I am choosing the inflate options and change the depth to 0. Then here also let's give the preset as same before, that is isometric right. Then apply the render with ray tracing option. Move the handle towards the side of the cup and arrange towards backward of the cup. And you can adjust the position and the angles like this. Here we completed the 3D shape of the cup. Now let's convert the saucer flat designs to 3D shapes. For that, just bring the saucer shape to artboard and apply the 3D and materials with the revolve option. Here we will get this shape. Then change the offset direction to right edge. Move the plate on the bottom of the cup and arrange towards backward like this. Then change the preset to isometric right, same as that of the other objects. Apply the render with ray tracing options and adjust the lighting as like other objects. Now let's apply the shadow for this cup set. For that, here I am drawing an ellipse by using the ellipse tool and applying the gradient effect. Change the gradient to radial gradient. Revert the color for making the black inside. Then select the white dots in the gradient panel and reduce the opacity to zero as like this. After that, from the toolbar, take the gradient tool and adjust the color 
and the direction as a shape of the shadows like this. Reduce the opacity of the shades to 80%. Then arrange it to backward like this. Once you completed the shadow of the co coffee cup, just to copy that shadows and paste it over the same position by using the key shot, Ctrl C and then Ctrl F. Now arrange this to bottom of the saucer plate and adjust the size as per that. Also adjust the gradient to fit for these shadows. Now let's go for the coffee seeds. Adjust the size and apply 3D and material tools with inflate options in the object. Make the depth to 0 and here we are changing the preset or the angles by manually. For that just to select the middle portion of the cross mark and rotate as per our wish. After that let's apply render with ray tracing. So here you can see the glossy and more realistic effect over that coffee seeds. Now let's multiply the coffee seeds by clicking and dragging on holding the alt button like this and change the preset as per the location of the background. Then let's apply the shadows for the seeds. For that select the seeds and on the 3D panel go to the lighting and on the bottom you will get the shadow options. Enable the shadow options and adjust to the settings as per our wish. Then let's apply the same settings for all the seeds. Also let's spread some of the seeds on the bottom of the plate also like this. And adjust the position as per the ground. After all this 3D making let's apply smoke effect over the coffee. For that from the swatches change the stroke to white color. And using the pen tool draw a wave shape like this vertically. with the stroke thickness of 35 point. And you can change the stroke uniform option to this tail. And, th and then go to the effect menu, blur and Gaussian blur. And give a radius of 46, like this. In the same way, by using the pen tool, draw more multi waves with the different Gaussian blur radius and a different stroke thickness, like this. So guys, here we completed the project of creating realistic 3D coffee cup from the flat design. Let's do more interesting 3D models by using the 3D and material tools in the upcoming videos. So that it will be more helpful for you to study about the functions of the 3D and material tools very deeply. So guys, if you like our video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell icon for getting the latest notification. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.